guys today's video is going to be a pack with me for my surgery bbl i would like to see what i'm packing specifically in my bag the things that i feel like i necessarily need then go ahead and continue to watch turn on your post notifications so every time i upload you will be notified so oh and you guys um to stop by my website my cosmetics website i have on the deep liner and i also have the isis clear gloss on with that so yeah if you guys like that go ahead and check it out I'm just gonna pull these out and show you guys. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is edible. I got 600 milligram edibles and these are after surgery. I'm not gonna eat them before. I'm gonna eat them for after surgery. Um, I'm not gonna eat them before. I'm going to have these for afterwards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out of the cases taking this as a carry-on so i don't want any problems so i'm gonna put these in ziploc bags i have to go to the dollar tree today i'm gonna put them in ziploc bags so i don't have any problems with those what i pack is my robe so you guys you're gonna need a robe because i'm gonna feel like putting on clothes and two-piece pajama sets and all of that so i got a robe they said it's just easy to throw on just moseying around so, another like sleeper gown or robe per se and everything is on a budget you guys you price up everything and then i'm gonna try to total up literally everything for my surgery my transportation my massages all of that and um i already kind of did it and it was under thirty five hundred dollars for literally everything a three-pack dial for like two dollars and something off amazon but being that i'm only going to be there two days post-op I'm, I'm only gonna take a bar i don't need to take anything extra another thing i got is sports bras because you're not gonna want to um, be trying to twist it and put that on and you're gonna want to be comfortable so i got two sports bras from Dee Dee's. so i got a white and a brown one and i think these two together were eight dollars um, i also have a three-piece set so it's a little t-shirt and the robe I showed you guys came with this and it was like $12.99 so I just had that on one and since these are shorts I feel like this would be okay to like throw on afterwards because I know they said you want something loose so just the three-piece set I actually just bought it for the robe and I was like oh if I don't wear these pajamas I can wear them later when I get my new body you know what I mean did the sculpture like everybody knows and to be honest it just wasn't for me it didn't give me the results i desired and like i said if i didn't like those i would go ahead and get a bbl so that's what i'm doing if you have like thousands of dollars to dish out then go ahead and get the sculpture because i know some people just don't have fat to work with i know i don't have a lot so when i go to my doctor at medica hd in matamoros mexico I'm going to basically tell them whatever take as much as fat out as you possibly can and put it in my hips after you fill my hips up then give me a little bit of projection but i really want my hips fixed first before any booty because i could be fine with the little butt i have i just want my hips filled out i caught a special for 1990 they did a saint patrick's day special they do specials all throughout the year i believe I was booked with another Dr. Metamorals, but all of a sudden I just started seeing bad reviews, bad reviews everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. I was like, uh, I'm not chancing it. So I switched over, but I still stayed in Metamorals. It's a few doctors that's really good that I've been researching for about four months now. Not just uh, Medica HG, but out of all of them, I really like them and they give you natural results. Even though I don't want it to look like really natural, they give you uh, good natural results. I got three boxes of Tylenol for pain. Of course, they're gonna prescribe you medicine, but a lot of people, um, a lot of surgery dials say that the Tylenol extra strength and Tylenol PM works wonders. So I got three packs of those. And you guys, a lot of this stuff I got from Amazon and Dollar Tree, so you know it was cheap. I'm only gonna show you one. I got these from City Trends, and they were like $4.99 or $5.99. Let's see, $4.99. Just something to slip on around the house and be really comfortable in. Um, what else I got? I did what, what a lot. If a lot of people name one product, then I knew I had to get that. So I got the Arnica tea. This helps with swelling. I got a box of that. I got this from Amazon as well. I got hair ties for my braids. Um, I'm having surgery on eggs. So yeah, I got hair ties for my braids to keep them out the way. Because I know they're going to cover them up, but they might come on. So I got these just in case because I don't want them to get infected. 
also got little tank top oops also got little tank tops for under my faja and i'm gonna tell them to make sure they put a tank top under my faja because i do not want faja burns a lot of people don't know to actually put on tank tops inside out so the seams are not pressed inside um your skin because it will leave indentation so make sure you turn your tank tops inside out and put them on under your faja to prevent faja burns because they can be really painful and also they can leave really ugly scars and you can end up in a hospital. So you don't want to do that. So make sure you get plenty of um, tank tops. But like I said, I'm only gonna be there two days after fall. So I feel like two is enough. I might go to Walmart and get those like one or $2 tank tops just in case. I got the training pads, the puppy training pads. You're gonna lay these down under you. So when you're draining and you're bleeding out the faja, these can soak it up underneath you shower curtain and make sure you get a shower curtain you guys especially if you're staying like at a hotel or airbnb wherever you stay basically you want to make sure you put this underneath or on top of the bed so you don't mess up the sheets you put this on the mattress you get your own sheets or what have you so you don't have to uh, mess up their sheets or their bed and um potentially get charged so yeah i got this one dollar tree as well i'll be able to take a bath after surgery so make sure you have wipes i got these from the dollar tree as well it's gonna be hard to use the bathroom and you might have to use it and you can't control yourself. I see a lot of dolls say they couldn't control themselves for using it. So you're gonna make sure you have the adult pads or diapers or whatever you wanna call them. I have, I thought I bought two packs, but I only have one. But like I said, I'm only staying two days post-op. So that should be good. I bought five fives. I went to Columbia to get my teeth did last week and I bought five fives. Well, I actually bought three fives and then I bought one off AliExpress and then I bought one off Amazon, but I forgot I bought the one off AliExpress. So yeah, I got five fives, but one of them is for later down the line and it doesn't have the straps. It's just right here to um, right under your booty cheeks. So yeah, but I was like, if I'm in Columbia, Columbia fives, like they're known for the best fives, why not? And I got like, three of them for a hundred dollars us dollars so they were they were really cheap over there so i got two fajas i'm gonna tell them to pick the one they think is the best and put it on me um right out of surgery um with this one i think it was like 25 dollars off aliexpress and with this one by sunrise fajas i believe this one was like either 60 or 70 dollars like i said i'm gonna leave everything down below so i can tell it up but I just went by their size chart and their measurements and that was a large net. I went ahead and got pads. I'm sorry I opened these because I thought I was going to come on my period. But um, pads to catch the blood or whatever and to um, uh, put a, a, around your, um, underneath your thigh to catch the blood. I think that's what they're for. I'm not female urinal because you're not going to be comfortable enough to sit down on a toilet. So you get that and you just put it on you and you aim it at the toilet. I also got Anika gel and pills. This is also good for bruising, I believe swelling as well. And it reduces pain, swelling, and discoloration from bruises. So I have the gel and I also have the pills that's in the same box. Dollar slippers from the Dollar Tree just to um, slip on something easy and actually disposable when I get ready to come back home. And they also match all of my pajamas, so that's a good thing. I got gloves just for sanitation purposes. At least I got compression socks. You're, you're really gonna need these socks because they control your blood circulation and they make sure everything is circulating. I've been in surgery groups and instead of $18, I got these for 10. I'm going to try to find the code and leave it below. If I don't, I'm sorry you guys don't kill me or if it don't work, don't kill me. I just literally found it a couple days ago and I was like, this is the last thing I really needed for my bag. So I went ahead and I jumped on that. Okay, the last few things I got was some hauls because, you know, they put the thing down your throat while you're asleep to make sure you be able to breathe and be a little scratchy. So I made sure I got some lemon hauls, allergy medicine, just in case, because I have bad allergies. My allergies are so bad, I have to have surgery. So make sure I had allergy medicine. And then laxatives. They say once you have surgery, it's hard for you to go to the bathroom. So make sure you pack laxatives. And I also got these from the Dollar Tree. I got the allergy medicine from the Dollar Tree. And the hauls from the Dollar Tree as well. So I think I said that was the last thing. It's actually not. The last thing I got is my boppy pillow. Now, y'all, I don't even know that the pillows are actually this big. So I don't even know how I'm going to take this. I'm going to probably put it on my um handle and then carry it through the airport like that. But yeah, this is my boppy pillow, and I got this from Didi's as well. 
and I got it for $12.99, which is actually cheap because they were on Amazon and um, Walmart for like $30. And I was like, that's cheap, but I know I can find it at Diddy's. And lo and behold, I found it at Diddy's. So yeah, you guys, that is my surgery bag. Those are the items I'm taking if I feel like I need anything else once I get to Brownsville, Texas, because that's where I'm going to stay and I'm going to go across the border because it's like two blocks away. Once I get to Brownsville and I feel like I need anything else, then I'm going to ask my transportation to take me to the store and the grocery store to get groceries and all that. So stay tuned for my um, surgery and going there in the process and afterwards. I don't know if I'm going to be up for it, but I'm going to try. And after that, I'm going to be doing post-op videos. So yeah, you guys, stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.